for this last video, we're going to look at some of the activities to reduce the threat of landslides. Um, landslides are actually sort of interesting because they're one of the few geologic disasters that we can actually try to prevent. There's nothing you can do about an earthquake happening, although there's things that can make an earthquake not so bad. There's nothing you can do to stop a volcano from erupting, but there are things we can do in a slope to um, reduce the chance of a landslide happening or um, slow it down a little bit. Um, so one of the biggest things we can do is just drain water from this slope. Um, because waters, we, we looked at a number of reasons why water actually makes the slope a lot more unstable. And so if you remove the water, it actually reduces a lot of that risk. Um, and so what you can do that with pipes, basically, you put pipes under there and drain the water out of it. And that's what you see in the bottom picture. We can also do that by changing the level of the water table. This can strengthen a potential failure surface um, because if there's a particular failure plane that you know that's up there in the in the rocks, like maybe a layer of clay, layer of shell or something, um, that you don't want wet, you just lower the water table locally, get that out of the water, and hopefully that prevents some landslides. You can also work to revegetate with plants that have deep roots in areas that have been deforestated or devegetated. Um, because that stabilizes the soil and the regoliths and you want nice deep roots. There are, are cases like in California where they actually tried to do a vegetation process along some of their, their roads and they planted ice plants which are really cool looking plants, except um, they hold a lot of water, which means they're really heavy and they actually have super shallow roots. So you have these really heavy plants with very little anchoring and it actually increased the number of landslides along their, along their roadsides, which was terribly unfortunate for them. Um, this is a really common thing and this is what they did on the uh, 87 landslide is you do terracing. So terrace steps redistributes the mass along the slope and it tends to reduce the angle overall um, and so the terracing can be pretty important in this case. Or you can build a retaining wall. Retaining walls can catch debris or they can stabilize regolith if you put it right across against uh, the wall. These retaining walls can and hold back any loose material um, that is on the move already. Um, and this is super common in, in a lot of cases there. Rock bolts are actually really interesting because they're literally what they sound like. They are big bolts. That you, they screw into rocks. Um, if you remember on the, the video with the loading of the top of the slope with the apartments, they really tried to put rock bolts in under those to hold everything in place. Um, in that case, it didn't go very well. Um, but rock bolts work best where you have joints, fractures, or rock layers that you need to hold together. Um, and so that, that's a, a massive undertaking, but it can, it can work out pretty nicely. Otherwise, if you have a river that's been eroding the base of a cliff, you just move the river. Um, so relocating it and a river channel can prevent undercutting of the cliff. Um, you can also put riprap at the bottom of a cliff, um, either at the ocean, like you see here, or even in a even in a river, the the big boulders. Um, that's called a riprap, that can reduce the energy of the water and the energy of the waves. So they can keep your beach from eroding, it can keep the cliffs from eroding, it could keep the banks of a river eroding as well. So there's lots of things that can be done to try to prevent or at least reduce the risk of landslides.